True Serum segment tonight, two hot topics, the Keystone Pipeline, lots of propaganda surrounding that, and exactly why Attorney General Holder did not participate in the Paris anti-terror demonstration, even though he was right across the street. With us now, Fox News correspondents Molly Lyon and Eric Schoen. All right, Eric, why didn't Holder show up? He was conducting television interviews. He was doing what's called a round robin, where you do four of the Sunday morning television he didn't shows. do Fox, did he? No, he did not. Did okay, not so he stars. did the other four on Sunday morning. He didn't do Fox. Um, but so what? He could have done that and then kind of hustled on over there. Well, you know? know, they had a bus. They put the world leaders in a bus after they had this photo op uh, at the Elysee Palace. Yeah. And they drove over there. Yeah. But, uh, the, the Department of Justice, Brian Fallon, is the head of public affairs, issued a statement saying he had to return to Washington Sunday afternoon. But why? Bill, uh, we don't know. They're not saying. I try to find out. How can out. you issue a statement and then not say why? Why did he have to return? Watch the games, the football games? They're not why saying why. I, tr I called a variety of people to try to get the answer to that. No one's talking as of our death. What do they say when you say, look, what we want to know is why he had to go back to Washington? That's a very simple question. They say, we're not going to tell you? They, they just pass you on office to office. I, right, say, I started okay, at the so time. I can't answer the question. Talk to this person. Yeah, they, they, I can't answer the question. Talk to that person. They send you to the Department of Justice Public Affairs shop. I right. called Valerie Jarrett. They sent me to the White House. They right. sent me to the DOJ. Right. I did the DOJ yesterday. They still haven't called me back. Right. I called them today. They said they're not at their desk. They're not available. Not so there, I sent them an email. I sent them an email know. with all these questions. Yeah. And then they, uh, they don't <laughs> get back Wednesday. to me. It's Wednesday. We still don't know why he had to come back. Now, this is what tees me off. We pay these people salaries. Mm -hmm. All right. All the taxpayers pay. We're in business to give you uh, the information. That is about as simple as it gets. Why did he have to come back? And now they're dodging and won't say. So I have to conclude that there is something untoward going on here. All right? This no, is a true has, serum. He, and has a, he has a public appearance tomorrow in Philadelphia, so yeah. maybe a reporter can ask. I hope so. All right, now, Keystone Pipeline, new Fox News poll says that about 60, more than 60% of Americans want the president to approve the Keystone Pipeline, which takes oil uh, from Canada and, and brings it down through the United States to be refined in Louisiana. But then we don't know where it goes. And that's President Obama's beef. Go. Understand what this project is. It is providing the ability of Canada to pump their oil, send it through our land, down to the Gulf, where it will be sold everywhere else. Is that true, Line? Well, it's not at all true that all of the crude oil that is coming down through America, across America's hard line, is just going to end up on ships and be sent off to Asia or some other world market, uh, specifically this oil from Canada. According to the State Department's final environmental impact statement, we drew a lot of information from this. So this is our government also sharing some of this information. The Gulf Coast refiners have this significant competitive advantage in processing it. So first it goes to the refineries, as you mentioned. After being refined, that's the big question. Then where does it go? Do how much know? stays? How much goes? We can't get an exact number on this, but did one you, estimate... Did you get the same thing uh, Sean got? One, <laughs> one uh, go on this one, that one. All right, so the, the, once it gives into gasoline or usable fuel, the, the true serum is we don't know how much goes abroad and how much stays in the and USA. And oil is a commodity and the market's constantly right. changing, but one we estimate is 50% or maybe even a little more, but that's based estimates. on... They should say, here's how much is... Congress, if they pass this pipeline, should say at least 50% has to stay in the USA. That's the way to do it. Now, there's another controversy here. Jobs. How many jobs will Keystone create? Roll it. It is going to be a bellwether decision by the president whether to go with jobs in the economy. His mm -hmm. own State Department said it's 42,000 new jobs. This is a good infrastructure uh, project supported widely across the United States. 42,000 jobs. Is that true? Well, the figure is also included in the State Department paperwork. But there are some caveats here. They say that essentially that during construction, these jobs will exist. The proposed project spending would, would support approximately 42,000 jobs, $2 billion in earnings across the U.S. So some of these jobs would be temporary. They would be the construction jobs so that are what? created. 3,900 3, uh, over a year of construction. Uh, 16, 10 jobs would be direct jobs, another 26,000 from indirect. Or So there are jobs, we just don't know how many jobs. Exactly. Okay, so the bottom line on the Keystone Pipeline is jobs would be created, money would come to the USA, and if the pinheads in Congress can formulate a bill that says, of all of the stuff that we refine, this much has to stay in the USA to drive oil prices or keep them down, then we have a good deal, right? And there's one effort of bill being put forward by uh, Senator Markey from Massachusetts who wants uh, all of the oil, essentially, to be refined. Petroleum oils, the crude, the bitumen that's coming from yeah, Canada to be entered into all. domestic 
commerce. I don't know so if you can do all, one, but you can certainly, you can certainly do a percentage, and that would be worth it. All right, you guys, thank you. When